Good afternoon, gentlemen. First off, I'd like to thank this board for taking the time to hear my proposal. Now, we've all heard of the legend of Atlantis, a continent somewhere in the mid-Atlantic that was home to an advanced civilization, possessing technology far beyond our own. That, uh, according to our friend Plato here, was suddenly struck by, by some cataclysmic event that sank it beneath the sea. Now, some of you may ask, why Atlantis? It's just a myth, isn't it? Pure fantasy. Well, that is where you'd be wrong. 10,000 years before the Egyptians built the pyramids, Atlantis had electricity, advanced medicine, even the power of flight. Impossible, you say. Well, no. No, not for them. Numerous ancient cultures all over the globe agree that Atlantis possessed a power source of some kind, more powerful than steam, than, than coal, more powerful than our modern internal combustion engines. Gentlemen, I propose that we find Atlantis, find that power source, and bring it back to the surface. Now, this is a page from an illuminated text that describes a book called The Shepherd's Journal, said to have been a, a first-hand account of Atlantis and its exact whereabouts. Now, based on a centuries-old translation of a Norse text, historians have believed the journal resides in Ireland. But after comparing the text to the runes on this Viking shield, I found that, that one of the letters had been mistranslated. So, uh, by changing this letter and inserting the correct one, we find that the Shepherd's Journal, the key to Atlantis, lies not in Ireland, gentlemen, but in Iceland. Pause for effect. Gentlemen, uh, I'll take your questions now. Oh, would you gentlemen please excuse me for a moment? Cartography and linguistics, Milo Thatch speaking. Yeah, yeah, just, just a sec. Pardon me, uh, Mr. Hickenbottom. <laughs> How's that? Is that better? Oh, you, 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 you're welcome. All right, bye. Now, as you can see by the, by this um, map map uh, that that, <clears throat> that I've drawn, I plotted the route that will take myself and a crew to the southern coast of Iceland to retrieve the journal. Ah, uh, showtime! Well, this is it. I'm finally getting out of the dungeon. Dear Mr. Thatch, this is to inform you that your meeting today has been moved up from 4.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. What? Dear Mr. Thatch, due to your absence, the board has voted to reject your proposal. Have a nice weekend, Mr. Harcourt's office. They can't do this to me! I swear that young Thatch gets crazier every year. If I ever hear the word Atlantis again, I'll step in front of a bus. <laughs> I'll put you. <laughs> Mr. Harcourt! Good lord! There he is! There was that board! Uh, wait! How did you find us? Mr. Harcourt, wait! Head for the hills! Where is the guard when you need him? Mr. Harcourt, you, you gotta listen to me, sir! Uh, sir? Wait! Mr. Harcourt! Sir, I I have doomed everything! Please, Mr. Harcourt, stop! Sir, if you if you hold thank you very much. Look at this museum funds scientific expeditions based on facts! Not legends and folklore. Besides, we need you here. We depend on you. You do? Yes. What with winter coming, that boiler's going to need a lot of attention. Boiler? One more time. But there, there's a journal. It's in Iceland. I'm sure of it this time. Sir, I really hoped it wouldn't come to this. But this is a letter of resignation. If you reject my proposal, I'll... <laughs> I mean it, sir. If you refuse to fund my proposal... You what? Flush your career down the toilet just like your grandfather? 
You have a lot of potential, Milo. Don't throw it all away chasing fairy tales. But I can prove Atlantis exists. You want to go on an expedition? Here, take a trolley to the Potomac and jump in. Maybe the cold water will clear your head. Thanks. <laughs> 